Switch up Zelda mode arrow generator. You must have met the following requirements for this to work. You have set your in-game camera sensitivity to normal. You do not have any metal items equipped in case of lightning strikes. And you have completed the Stranded on Event Tide quest. Make sure your switch up device is in Zelda mode. Press and release the mode select button until the two LEDs turn green. Fast travel to the Korgu Chide Shrine. Make your way towards the cliff and you will see an island made up of a ring of rocks. Jump off and glide onto this island. Once you land, you will see a chest located in the middle of a pool of water. Make sure Link is standing ashore and aiming his magnesis ability at the lock on the chest. It is important to leave enough land between Link and the water for the chest. Hold the minus button until the mode select LED turns white and then release. Press the following D-pad sequence, up, left, up, and right. As you are entering this four button code, the switch up will light up each of the four green player LEDs until all four are flashing in sync. If you have entered the code wrong, wait for the player LEDs to shut off and try again. Ensure Link is still aiming his magnesis ability at the chest, and press the up D-pad to start the generator. The mode select LED will begin flashing in sync with the four player LEDs. From here on out, the generator will take over, earning you arrows up to the max limit of your inventory. When you wish to stop the generator, simply press the minus button.